Well, hello, YouTube, and um, everybody else, whether it's Amazon or wherever you're seeing this. I want to do a, a review the Amazing Smoke Tube 12 inch. That's what you're seeing right here in the center of your screen. Right here. And so we'll start with uh, kind of what you need to make this work. So you can order one of these. Uh, you can see one end has holes at the bottom. It has a bunch of holes throughout. And then, of course, this is the, uh, the end where you load it full of uh, wood chips, sawdust, or pellets. It really is your preference. Um, I use a Traeger, as you can see. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to go ahead and use pellets. It's going to be hard to load and videotape. But uh, I'll just dump pellets in it. Of course, you know, if you're not shooting with your uh, camera phone, you'll have an extra hand as I don't right now. All right, so you can see I've got it nice and full. I kind of shake it around to get it nice and dense. I'll leave about maybe a quarter inch at the top. And you can see it's all loaded up, ready to go. I bring it back out to the smoker. And uh, right now, yes, I know my, my Traeger is dirty as all hell. Uh, I'm actually getting ready to, to clean it up right now. So uh, that's why it's running. But I usually stick it in the vertical position, okay, on the grill, just to kind of keep it from catching anything on fire. Um, I have a uh, Benzomatic TS8000. Uh, Burnzomatic, not Benzomatic. Burnzomatic TS8000 uh, blowtorch. I use this to light them. I've tried uh, matches. I've tried... Uh, Oh, a bunch of different stuff. And the reality is, the blowtorch makes really quick and easy work of it. I'll go ahead and light it like this. And you'll see that I'll get the top of this thing going good and hot. Just got to get some peppers there. Again, I'll get a good hot, trying to light and light as many of those parts at the top as I can. I will let it go. The goal is to let it do this, where it's just flaming at the top like this, for at least eight to 10 minutes. That's what the instructions say. In fact, I believe the instructions say 10 minutes, uh, but I usually go about eight minutes. It seems to do the job. And then uh, as soon as you let that eight minutes go, and I know there's some smoke around here just because again, I'm running the, run the Traeger, trying to clean off the grills and replace the drip tray uh, coil and all that good stuff. But after it goes about 10 minutes, you simply want to blow it out. And yes, I'm brave, but I also know that if you grab low enough, it's not hot. And so I just went ahead and blew it out. And you can see it's already smoking. Now, I let it go about eight to 10 minutes because uh, I wanna make sure I've got good ignition and that it smolders. But if you've gone eight to 10 minutes, and I sped it up for the sake of the video, but if you go on eight to 10 minutes, then you blow it out just like what I did. And I put it um, horizontally like this. In fact, it may be lit enough and go for the, the entire span right now. But again, I would recommend letting it burn for eight to 10 minutes, then blow it out. You're gonna have good coals at that point. You're gonna be good to go. It goes about four hours. It adds great supplemental smoke. Close it up. And again, you don't have to have a Traeger, you can have a regular barbecue. I know folks that are using this as just their regular propane or gas barbecue, and it works great. We'll go ahead and lift it back up here, and you'll see, it's adding some good smoke. It allows you to be able to smoke with Traeger pellets, and then in the tube, put whatever pellets you like, whether it's a third-party pellet vendor, or whether it is wood chips, or sawdust, you name it, it's really your preference. So again, just kind of a quick and dirty review of the amazing 12 inch smoke tube. Again, for, I don't know, it was under 30 bucks, I know that much. It is uh, well worth the money spent if you want some supplemental smoke. And of course, if you want to do cold smoking, you turn the Traeger off entirely and just run the tube. And I've done cheeses and all sorts of stuff. And uh, again, it adds just that little extra bit of smoke especially when doing like jerky and stuff like that, that, uh, that you desire. So, hey, my, uh, my mouth is watering, which means I gotta put some meat on this and, uh, <laughs> and cook. Thanks again for watching. Hope you found this helpful. Bye-bye.